Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> it is an unexpected gorgeous day out. It's 62 and sunny. So I have managed to convince my wife to go outside. So we're going to go back inside actually and, and get some bean at three ships. Isn't she adorable? <laughs> Hush. Let's go get some bean. So, dumb monkey strikes again. Obviously, I filmed that first little bit when we were still in the house and we were leaving, and I had the audio on. I do not remember turning off the Rode Wireless Go either unit, and I recorded a bunch of other stuff throughout the day, because we didn't just go have bean. We went around and did some other things, and I recorded a lot of that, and I recorded it without any sound. So there's no point in showing it to you. Dumb monkey moment. Here's what else is going on. I have been sitting here, obviously, and this, this is what happens when you have uh, a disability and it ends up making you sit here, which you normally don't do, and you're just sitting here and you have nothing to do because you can't do anything because you're in pain. So what do you do? You retreat into your mind and you start to think, oh my God, the horror. So I was inside my head for a few days. It's probably a good thing. Let's just say it's a good thing. I started to look at all the gear that I have. I started to look at my finances. <laughs> I, I just started to take a, a, like an, an internal audit almost. And I decided that one, I have way too much stuff. Two, I spent a lot of money on way too much stuff. Three, I would like to have a lot of that money back. Four, the only way that it's gonna come back is if I sell all the stuff that I bought that I don't need. now. This isn't just some fly by the seat of your pants decision where I'm just like, shit, I'm broke. I got to sell all my stuff. I'm going to the pawn shop. It's not that at all. It's that all right, I have been doing this now for a couple of years I, I, since I restarted doing it. And over that time, I have bought a shit ton of gear, different camera systems, so many cameras, so many lenses, and ultimately stepped back into Sony, which was the the first camera that I bought when I decided I was going to get back into this. Now I have pretty much decided that I'm going to stick with Sony. There is no other reason for me to move away from it. I have invested a lot of money and time into the Sony equipment. It took me a while, even within the Sony ecosphere, to decide on what gear was best for me. And I finally got there. So with the A7R4, and a couple of the lenses that, that I'm using for that system, I'm all set for doing what I want to do and if I wanted to do anything else. This A7C, unbeknownst to me, because when it first came out, I was like, that's kind of stupid of them, why'd they do that? Go figure, then I ended up buying one and now I freaking love it. When I walk out of this house, unless I'm going birding or doing any kind of wildlife stuff, this is the camera I go for. I haven't touched my ZV-1s in a long time. Now, don't get me wrong. Those ZV-1s are fantastic, and everyone's like, oh, it's the perfect little camera you can stick in your pocket. I can't stick shit in my pocket because I put too much stuff on it. And when it gets right down to it, I'm still not gonna grab it. I'm always gonna grab this A7C. Over the past four months, five months, six months, my go-to grab has been this A7C. Once I got the 20 millimeter lens, which is on here now, I pretty much always have the 20 millimeter on here. Sometimes I put the 40 millimeter f2.5 on there if I'm going to actually use this camera in a photographic world, not a filming world. Filming, the 20 millimeter is going to be on here every time, it, period. It just is. Now, when I first bought the camera, this, this a7C, I bought it with the 16 to 35 f4. I thought, okay, I'm not going to get the G Master. 2.8 because I want to have the OSS that's on the lens. So I'm going to get the F4 version. Well, when it gets right down to it, the steady shot with the OSS sucks on that lens too. So I never use it. I just use the 20 millimeter and it's wide enough. And since I programmed clear image zoom on one of the buttons, it's also long enough. So I get 20 to 40 rather than 16 to 35. It's an equivalent. I don't really need to go any wider than 20. And if I go any longer than 40, I'll throw a different lens on. But that's not for this camera. This camera is where I keep the 20 millimeter or the 40 millimeter, and that's it. The A7R4 is my like still camera. It's what I use. If I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna do birding, 
that's the camera I'm going with. If I'm going to go and I'm going to shoot portrait photography, things like that, not that I've shot any human beings, but I need to. But if I'm going to, or if I'm going to do some kind of photography centric shooting, I'm going to take the A7R4. And I have a 16 to 35, 24 to 70, an 85 millimeter, the 200 to 600, those four lenses. Of those four lenses, the one that has been used the most is the 200 to 600 because I, I got so into birding, that's all I use. So not getting rid of the 200 to 600, that would be insane. I will not get rid of the 24 to 70 because that is like that perfect mid range and the F2.8 is low light enough and bokeh -y enough and all that, that it's a really good lens. Plus the Sigma version is just like, even most people will say it's it's just as good, if not better than the G Master version. So I don't, I don't, I'm not like a snob like that. I don't know, oh, I gotta have a G Master. I'm going to keep the 24 to 70 and I'm going to keep the 200 to 600. Now, the only other lens that I have decided that I'm going to keep is my Sigma 105 f1.4. Ever since I got that, and even probably before that, I haven't even touched that 85. And when I originally bought the camera, I got the 85 and Sigma 100 to 400, which I since sold and, and to get the 200 to 600. So bottom line, I'm keeping the Sigma 24 to 70, the Sigma 105 f1.4, and the Sony 200 to 600. So I'm going to sell the 16 to 35 f4 and the Sigma 85 1.4. I don't touch those lenses. I haven't used them. And I know me, the way that I had this all set up, I never will. And I know Yankee Cowboys crawling out of his skin right now thinking, don't sell the 16 to 35, don't sell the 16 to 35, but I don't use it. And I have this 20. And I, again, I can make the 20 go all the way up to 40. So I've covered that 16 to 35 range, and I don't ever really need to go down to 16 because the 20 is wide enough. I explained it, that's that, it's gone. Those lenses are for sale. I also realized that now that I use this A7C all the time, or the A7R4, I don't need to have two ZV-1s because this is now how I shoot in studio. I don't ever shoot up there where I have the ZV-1, one of the ZV-1s permanently mounted. I certainly don't need two of them. Now, the other one is over here, right out of sight, as my overhead. Well, I don't really need an overhead. I only set that up because I was gonna be doing unboxings and things like that, but I'm not really an unboxing kind of a guy. I never have been. I did it just because, eh, okay, I'll, I'll fall in line and I'll do it for some stuff, but I don't really need to do that. And if I need to do it, I can go like this. Ooh, check this out, huh? Like that? Ooh, here's, here's my new mouse. It has little feet on it. You know, you get what I'm saying? I don't have to have this elaborate setup in here. And if that's one thing that this, especially the last six months have taught me, that I just need to stop. I need to stop going out and being like, oh, I should get that. You know, if I see somebody that does a video on something that intrigues me, I'll be like, oh man, I should build that out. I should do that. I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm not wasting any more money. I'm not spending any more money. I stood in front of my wife today and I, you know, I swore, I said, I'm done. I'm done buying shit. In fact, I'm going to sell a bunch of stuff and use that money to pay off other stuff. And I'm done. If you come to this channel, for new gear reviews, which I don't even do that because I'm not really an early adopter, so I don't buy like super new stuff. I buy stuff that's been out for a while and then just give my two cents on it. I'm still gonna do that. I have a ton of crap around here that I'm not gonna get rid of that I still haven't talked about in any kind of way, shape or form other than to say that I have it, but that's not what's gonna happen. This clearly is a vlogging channel. I'm vlogging my day-to-day -day life and sometimes I say something that interests some people and they click on the video and they watch. Sometimes people leave me a comment. A lot of times people ask me questions on stuff that I've got or ask me to do something, which I usually accommodate them. But going forward, I am not going to be buying any more gear and, and doing videos on that stuff. I don't need anything else. I have also decided that I'm not going to buy the 70 to 200 version two, the, the, the Sony's G Master. I don't need it. I am covered all in every range that I actually shoot in. And with that 105, I, like it's an F1.4. With the clear image zoom, I can go 105 in, all, all the way up to almost 200 anyways. It's repeating a focal length, plus it's a faster lens. I'm not buying new shit. I've got 
all that I can use and more is basically my bottom line. I'm getting rid of those lenses. I'm probably going to get rid of at least one ZV-1, if not two of them. If you were on the Continental Lower 48 and you want any of those lenses or the cameras, you got to reach out to me and I'm not going to haggle with you. I'm not going through multiple emails. I'm not going through some crazy ass payment form or any of that kind of stuff. The price is going to be the price. You pay me, you can get that camera or you can get that lens, period. I'm not dicking around with that. I'd rather take less money and just sell it all to KEH and be done with it. Tell me soon because I'm not going to hold off on this very long. I've made my mind up of what's going and it's going. It's time to get down to brass tacks and start, or not start, but continue making content. And I'm going to be doing that on a consistent basis and doing that by not buying new shit, not spending more money, not freaking out because I got to pay for something and I'm like, oh, you know, what was I thinking? I'm not going to do that anymore. This is a vlog channel. It's a vlog channel where I talk about gear. It was supposed to be a vlog channel about being a disabled veteran and having a body that sometimes doesn't cooperate, like over Christmas weekend when I could barely walk and not being able to do anything, but I still laying on the floor created a video. You get what I'm saying? So I'm going to get back to my roots of just creating content rather than worrying about going out and buying all kinds of new gear that I don't need. But that's it. That's all I've got for you. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave me down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up, but with less shit.